In this tutorial, you will learn what is pivot table and how to use it in Microsoft Excel. Pivot table in Excel is a powerful tool that allows users to summarize, analyze, explore, and present large amounts of data. It enables you to transform complex data sets into meaningful and easy to read reports by reorganizing and aggregating the data based on different dimensions. Here in this example, I have a one year sales data of a company where there is all information of date, customer name, product name, sales representative name, quantity sold, and sales value. This is a big data having more than 1,000 records. Based on this data, I need to make some reports. These are number one, customer wise total sales value for the year. Number two, which sales representative generated how much sales revenue every month? Number three, product wise sales report in largest to the smallest order. Number four, customer wise, product wise total sales value. All these reports can be quickly created using the drag and drop. Let's start generating reports. First of all, you need to check whether your data is organized perfectly or not. In your data, there should not be completely blank row or column. There should not be any column with no column header. If so, you cannot use pivot table or you may get unexpected reports. So if these errors exist in the source data, fix it first. Then click anywhere in the data, then click on insert tab. Click on pivot table. This opens a window where you have to select the location for creating the report. If you want to create the report in the same sheet where your source data is, then select the existing worksheet option. Then provide the cell location from which report will start. If you want to create the report in new sheet, select new worksheet option. Here I am selecting new worksheet. Click on OK. A new sheet is created with pivot table field lists. The first report we require is the customer wise total sales report for the year. For this, click on customer name, hold the click and drag and drop it in rows area. Here you see the unique list of customer is generated. Now drag and drop the sales value in the value area. Here you see the report is created. To create the second report in same sheet, you can simply copy and paste the first report, then edit the fields. Let me copy and paste this report first. Now change the fields. The second report we require is the month wise sales revenue for every sales representatives. For this, deselect the customer name, drag and drop the sales representative in row area. Drag and drop the date in column area. Now the report is created. Now make the third report that is product wise total sales in large to small order. For this, let me copy and paste this report again. Now deselect customer name. Drag and drop the product name in row area. Now to sort the data in large to small sequence, click on this button then click on more sort options. Click on descending by, then from this drop-down menu, choose the column that is sum of sales value. Click on OK. Now the required report is generated. Now let's create the fourth report following same method. Here I will create the report in a new sheet. Now, Let's look at something about report customization part. When you click in the pivot table, here you see two new tabs are activated. These are design and pivot table analyze. Let's click on design tab. Here, suppose if you want to remove the grand totals from the report, click on this grand totals tool. Then select off for row and column. The grand totals are removed. To show the grand total for row only, select the option on for row only. To change style of the report, here you can select different styles. Let's go to this pivot table analyze tab. 
To show or hide this field list of pivot table, you can click on this button. If you want to filter your report by some criteria, you can use the slicer tool. Click on the insert slicer. Then select the criteria to filter. Here you can select multiple criteria too. But I'm selecting sales representative only. Now click OK. Here you see a slicer is created. By clicking on the sales representative name, you can filter the report. You can filter the report without using Slicer 2. For this, let me delete the Slicer. Now, here in the Filters area, drag and drop the sales representatives. Here you see, Filter button is created. By using this, you can filter the data. There are many other customization tools available, which you can practice one by one, because the best way of learning is by doing or practicing. If you want to get this sample file, you can download it from video description below. Thank you for watching this video. See you in next tutorial.